Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're gonna check it out how to create this abstract form in gradients in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so bear with me. I got. I might be a little bit slower because I just uh, figured this form out. Uh, it just came in mind. I didn't know what to post today, so uh, I'm gonna try to recreate this stuff. First step, make sure that you're in a stroke. I'm gonna click on this none here. I'm gonna click on the stroke. Select the black color. I'm gonna go and select the rounded rectangle tool. Press and hold shift plus alt. Okay, I'm gonna scale this down like this. And as you can see, these little circles in here. I'm gonna pull, and as you can see, it's gonna make it more rounded. Okay, I'm gonna a little bit make it more sharp, actually. Something like this, okay? I gotta go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite. So this way it won't be customizable anymore, anymore so you won't uh, be able to make it even more rounded or less rounded. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. Usually it's not activated. I gotta press, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it down. I gotta go to the strokes, increase the stroke thickness around here. So this is gonna be the thickness. Okay, go to the object, go to expand, click OK. I gotta change the color to gray. Something like this. And from here, what I'm gonna do is select the direct selection tool from here, select this anchor, anchor point here, this one, right? Press and hold shift and also select this anchor point. Press control C and then control V. So we are left with this uh, corner, okay? And I'm gonna swap it from uh, fill to stroke and I'm gonna select this corner and put it here, okay? So it needs to touch the top. So I'm gonna select it and they're gonna intersect at the top and I'm gonna pull this handle here and they're gonna need to intersect inside. So here in this case it intersects outside and in this case it intersects inside. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, delete this anchor point, so this line is gonna be deleted. I'm also gonna de delete this line. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the stroke option. See this? So with the stroke, select the pen tool and let's check out where the center. As you can see, if I drag the pen tool to the center, it's gonna show me a magenta line. So I gotta go all the way to the left where they intersect, press and hold shift and go all the way to the right where they intersect. Now select it, press control C and then control F or you can go to edit paste in front in order to create another copy in the front. Press and hold shift and rotate it 90 degrees, something like this. I gotta select this corner. I gotta select the rotate tool, press and hold alt and click here to the intersection point Type in to the angle 90 degrees, click on copy, press control D. So it's gonna create another copy, press control D again. So it's gonna create another copy. So this way it goes round and round. Okay, so now we need to figure out, or, you know, the middle here, you know. So I'm gonna select the pen tool, I'm gonna create a line here and I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it to the, uh, to the bottom here. I'm gonna press and hold Shift, select both lines, go to object, go to Blend and make, oh my God. Double click on the blend tool, select specify steps and type in one. So this way it's gonna create a line in between, click okay, go to object, expand, okay. So this way we know that this is the middle line. I gotta drag it all the way here. So these two connect, see that? Now I'm gonna select this corner, press and hold alt, drag it up until these guys here connect. I'm gonna make this smaller and now I'm gonna select this corner, press Control c Control f and press and hold Shift, scale it down until they intersect right here with this line. So as you can see, drag this line out, they intersect perfectly. So I can delete the central lines. What I'm gonna do is select the pen tool, click on this corner, Boom, so now we are connecting it with this one. There you go. So we're gonna select the rotate tool, press and hold out, go to the center, click, type in 90 degrees, click on copy, control D, copy, control D, copy. Now I see like the construction, how it kind of looks. Now I only need a few of these. So I'm gonna, so gonna do this line, press and hold shift, select this line and then this line. Right click group. And also press and hold shift, select the gray 
And now we're gonna divide it from the Pathfinder. Go to the Pathfinder, click on Divide. And now you can see they disappeared, but right click on Group, we're left with these two shapes here. Okay, so I'm gonna press and hold Shift, select these two shapes and select the plus the center here, see? So I'm gonna delete these, I don't need them. And now I can add some gradients on this. So I'm gonna go to the gradients, I'm gonna activate the gradients, I'm gonna select this one, activate the gradients here too. I'm gonna swap it, reverse gradient here. You're gonna look something like, something like this. I'm gonna select both right click group. I'm gonna select the rotate, press and hold Alt, click on the intersection point, 90 degrees, click on copy, Control D, Control D. And this is one of the methods how you can make it. I'm going to delete these pluses and you can play around with the gradients and make it more realistic. Right now, I can leave it like this. Needs more work on it, but the video is kind of long anyways. So yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.